you welcome to my channel in this video yeah we are still handling business research skills topic one yeah and in this video we are going to be looking at the research ethics or the ethical principles of research yeah the ethics that you're supposed to follow when you're carrying out research when you're doing research yeah and the first ethic is honesty when you're doing research, you're not supposed to deceive. Avoid lies in your data. Like, don't lie to people about things that you didn't find out actually. So you're supposed to be honest. You're supposed to report your findings. You're supposed to report the things that you found. Yeah, so when you're doing research, you're supposed to be honest. Do not deceive. Then objectivity. Objectivity, avoid bias or self-deception. Like, don't tell us your opinion we don't want to know your opinion we want to know what you found out yeah avoid objectivity then sorry avoid subjectivity you're supposed to be objective when you're carrying out research yeah integrity keep a clean word and promise like if you promise to give some information that's the information that you're supposed to give Keep a clean word and your promise. Keep your promise. Then carefulness. Avoid errors when you're doing research. Yeah, though you you cannot avoid them completely, but you can try as much as you can to avoid errors when you're doing research. Then openness. Share information with your team. Yeah, once you share information with your team, it can help you to analyze the information that you found out. Yeah, so, so that you can talk about it and get everyone's point of view. Openness. Then confidentiality. Keep secrets. Maintain maintain anonymous where necessary. Like be anonymous where necessary. Once you're doing research, you're not supposed to tell the whole world about your research. Yeah, by the time you tell us the results, like everyone will be knowing. So keep some secrets to yourself. Then re responsible publication. Avoid plagiarism, like copying someone's content and you just paste it. Publish results to advance research and scholarship. Then responsible men mentoring. Educate or advise others. Social responsibility, mitigate social harm. Um, like when you're doing research, to try to make sure that it's it's not causing problems to the society or it's solving the problems that the society is facing. Then non-discrimination. When you're doing research, you're not supposed to discriminate according to gender, sex, religion. Yeah, things like that. Level of education. So non-discrimination. Your research should be should not be dis discriminative. Yeah. Then respect for intellectual property. When you when you're carrying out research, you're supposed to respect people's property, like the copyright. You're supposed to respect the information that has copyright. Yeah. Then legality, obey the laws and rules when you're carrying out research. Animal care, protect animal rights. So those are the research ethics. We have honesty, objectivity, integrity, carefulness, openness, confidentiality, responsible publication, responsible mentoring, Social responsibility, non-discrimination, respect for intellectual property, legality, then lastly, animal care. Yeah, now let's look at the qualities of a good researcher. How is a good researcher supposed to be? How is a good researcher supposed to behave? Yeah, qualities of a good researcher. First is education and competency. A good researcher must must be educated, must have some degree of education. Yeah. Then interpersonal skills. A good researcher must be able to interact with people. 
so that he can be able to get the information that he wants, interact with people, or like have a team, things like that. So he's supposed to have interpersonal skills. Then interest in people and their behavior. Once you're doing out, when you, once you're carrying out research, you're supposed to have interest in people and what they do, in order for you to find what you want. Then analytical ability. A good researcher should be able to analyze things. To analyze things like after, after you getting maybe the information about something, can you analyze it like no she something like that then numerical skills a good researcher should have the skills of dealing with figures because it's not that all all research is qualitative we have quantitative research so a good researcher should have numerical skills the skills of dealing with figures then good organizational skills like to meet deadline be fast paced a good researcher is supposed to have organizational skills and then problem solving skills a good researcher should be able to solve a particular problem because we said your research first of all must have a purpose and that purpose should be maybe solving a particular problem so a good researcher should have problem solving skills be a fast thinker and take corrective actions. Yeah. Then ability to work as a team. A good researcher should be able to work with other people. Yeah. Once you work with other people, it's easier. Different people will tell you their point of view so that you can you can decide on what to do. Yeah. So those are the Qualities of a good researcher, we have education and competency, interpersonal skills, interest in people and their behavior, analytical behavior, numeracy skills, good organizational skills, problem solving skills, and ability to work as a team. Yeah. So that was all about the uh, introduction to business research skills or research methods. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share with your friends. Yeah, and watch my next video, which I'll be talking about another topic.